Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of October 2024. It's time to get some Mexican spinach. In the fruit cage, there's some fruit, some pumpkin, the last of the custard apples. This is ready to eat. Wow. And a lot of bananas ripening up in here. Custard apple season is nearly over, but there's still a lot in the fridge and a couple on the on the trees. But the season has been just enormous. There have been so many custard apples. It's just so sweet, so nice. But uh, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the uh, custard apples now. And also we have had some issues with uh, flooding in some areas nearby here. But I think the, the more serious floods were recorded in Thailand uh, more north from here. Um, and well, on the countryside when you're a bit on a hill like this then you don't experience any issues with flooding. You just have a little bit more rain and uh, a little bit more mosquitoes. Otherwise everything is fine. And here you can see that I've been uh, cutting these chaya because when they grow tall like this, I don't know how many meters this is, but um, then they are just crawled with different things and there's just not much harvest to be done here with fresh shoots. So they just need to be cut down and during the cutting we're able to harvest some of the chaya to be consumed later. And the part that we are interested in is the top part and we don't want something like this that is not, um, it's just becomes more matte down here and here you can see it's more green. And we also want some leaves that are not tainted by yellow spots. So for example, this one looks much better, um, but I can see that there's uh, this is no problem. So the leaves look much more healthy and this is a nice shoot. We already harvested a lot of pumpkins, but there's still a lot of beans coming up. So this has not been cut down and of course papayas everywhere. So these will ripen up during November, hopefully. A lot of uh, grass cutting going on to keep the garden nice and healthy. Everything goes in cycles here. So now we have a low season of chilies. So now I'm going to different, different chili plants in the garden hunting some of these chilies. And together with one of our chaya, bigger chaya plants, we have this nice chili. Thankfully, it was not completely cut down. We're gonna put it up here like this. I think this is uh, enough chili for today. A good handful of Mexican spinach chaya. So this is how it looks after harvesting. And this Mexican spinach, steamed, is just powerful. It just has proteins, all kinds of minerals. It's just like so much more potent than normal spinach. So if you eat this almost every day, you will be extremely powerful. The red Cavendish have been cut down and are regrowing now. And the view of my lovely wife and the mountains. So down here is the old pineapple that is already harvested. And here on the side, there's this new one. And from the center here, there will be a new pineapple, pineapple coming up at some point. Papaya trees coming up. This banana needs to be harvested. And do you know how I can see that? Or how I choose to cut this banana or why I choose to harvest it right now I don't know if you can see it but this banana over here is already cracked 
So when they are cracking or turning a little bit yellow, it's time to harvest. And when a banana is harvested, it will turn as yellow as these in a couple of days when they are harvested just before they ripen up. And this is good because when they are in this um, box or in this cage, no bugs can go in and we will have really nice bananas without a lot of bugs inside, completely organic and nice. And hopefully we'll have a lot, of, a lot of pineapples in the future. And will this watermelon, <laughs> watermelon produce some watermelons this time? Let's see. Cucumber still going strong. The only limes we have is the orange ones. They smell super good and are orange inside. <laughs> These smell like oranges or clementines or something. It's completely crazy.